With the most recent season of Splatoon 3 dropping, fresh season 2024, we got two brand new weapons and we got a, a bunch of alternate kits, around about 8 to 10 alternate kits. So it's been quite a while since I actually did a weapons tier list. I think the last one was about like four or five months ago now, uh, something around there. So it's going to be a Splatoon 3 fresh season 2024 weapons tier list. So let's go into this. If you guys are wondering which weapons to play in ranked, if you're wanting to rank up, this is going to be mainly for like your, your ranked tier list. This is going to be from like your S tier of all the way up. Because usually in like your lower tiers of rank, from anywhere from like C tier up to like A plus tier, usually the weapons you play don't really matter. It kind of just comes down to how well you kind of play. But once you get above that, it kind of does matter what weapons you play because if everybody else has better team comps, like weapon comps than you do, you automatically just put yourself at such a disadvantage that you end up losing a lot of your games. And at that point in the game too, when you get to those ranks, it actually matters a lot more and then that type of thing because it's just a lot more difficult to rank up so if you guys missed any of my past tier list i think i did a tier list for i'm not sure if it was the last season or the season before it's been quite a while since i did a tier list the last season didn't really have like anything really new to and nothing really changed with the game to really do a tier list so i think i kind of skipped one of them so if you guys missed out i'll leave a link that in the video um that type of thing so I'll, I'll be covering all the new weapons as well in this I will not be talking about the, the DLC variant weapons, uh, the replica type weapons, because they are legit just different looking type weapons. They're, they, they're, kind of, they're the same thing that's already in the game, they just look different, so I'm not going to be talking about those. But uh, I'll throw do, let's get right into this, I'll throw the list on screen for you guys right now. Uh, I'm just going to go through this and rank this. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to be going through this and actually kind of just ranking a lot of these really fast, because if I'm being real with you guys, a lot of the stuff doesn't really change either. The balance with the game has just been really, really bad. And I think we have like two more updates left until the end of 2024. Two or two or three, I think. We have, uh, depending how, how long they want to make the season. I think the seasons are about three and four months. So I think we have like two or three more seasons left before the game does not get any more updates going into 2025. So th the longer the game goes on, it, it kind of just makes it really apparent that they don't really want to balance the game. There is a, a lot of bad weapons in this game that just never get any type of compensation or like like buffs, like balance wise. And then there's also a lot of stuff from like even like the last tier list it is that's still a, like incredibly good because they just don't really balance the game. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this. I'm gonna go through a lot of like the really bad weapons just really fast. So I don't want to waste your guys' time. I'll spend a lot more time on like the newer weapons and some of the other stuff. So the best tiers. This is the stuff that's the best of the best. You cannot go wrong by picking anything in the S tier. This is stuff you're going to see in the majority of your games and that type of thing. A plus is your really consistent, really good stuff. Not really like nerf worthy stuff, but it's like incredibly good. If anything like slightly meta changing gets nerfed, that's like in the S tier. A plus tier stuff might rise up and be like some of the better stuff in the game. A tier is just your really consistent stuff. You're average. Not bad, not incredibly good, just really consistent. B is your below average, C is more situational. D tier is your borderline garbage type stuff. Maybe there's only like one or two reasons or maybe maps that you're going to be picking any of this type of stuff on. Or like comps that you're going to be picking it on. Apart from that, you're, it, it's borderline throw tier. And then F tier is just your stuff that you're never going to pick. If you pick anything in F tier, you're asking to lose. Maybe in like your lower tiers of rank, you can get away with it if you're, if you're decently good at playing the weapons. But in like your S tier and above, like you play any of this type of stuff, you're kind of throwing the game. So do not play anything in S F tier if unless you want to lose your matches and throw the game. So and I'm, I guarantee you the people on your team are not going to be happy if they, they load into the match and they see a fucking arrow spray on their team. Because I can guarantee you I don't, I'm not happy if, when that's the case. Top right into this. Sploosh going to F tier. Air, both the arrow sprays going to F tier. These are garbage weapons. There's no reason to play these. Um, also keep in mind with this tier list, I'm taking into consideration all the modes for this list, not like a singular mode. So it's kind of based off of how the weapon performs in all the, the game modes. So keep that in mind as well. Before I know I'm going to have somebody comment that. So figured I'd throw that out there before I get too deep into the list. Ne Sploosh Neo garbage. I'm not going to rank this one because it's a, this is the Hero Shot replica, which is the same thing as the Tenetech. Tenetech's going to S tier, same with the T-Tech Splatter Shot. The, the Splatter Shot and the T-Tech Splatter Shot is incredibly good. Nothing with them has really changed since last patch at all. They're still incredibly good. Really easy to play. They farm all really fast. They paint really good. Nothing really drawing them back at. 
we actually got a brand new variant of the 52 gal like i also have all the variants actually pulled up on screen right now uh the, the 52 gal gear that cool this thing is actually another weapon that actually there's another weapon that actually has splatter color screen with curling bomb so i'm actually going to take that and actually put that i mean it's not as good as like the, of the vanilla kit but i'll put it like c tier I, it's a weapon that has flash color screen but it curling bomb legit does nothing for this weapon and zap 89 garbage c tier at best it's not as bad as some of the f tier weapons but it's not good at all shed squelcher really bad 96 scale i'm putting that in the d tier borderline garbage uh I'm gonna put the, the the juniors at B tier just mainly because if you want bubble or if you want wave breaker, they're probably the two best farming weapons in the game for both of those. But apart from that, they're really bad. 96 scale deco decent because it has kraken, but apart from that, you're not gonna really playing it. Just better than the other kit that it has, which is really unfortunate. Jet squelcher, uh, custom jet squelcher. I'm gonna put an A tier, solid weapon. I'm gonna put both splatter shots or the splatter shot pro and the forge. I'm gonna put those both A tier. People are sleeping on these weapons. I think they're really, really consistent. I don't see nearly enough of them. They're just really consistent weapons. I think they could use a few small buffs, but they're not bad by any means. 52 gal going to A tier. Got the uh, Sploosh Neo. I'm gonna put the Sploosh Neo uh, A plus tier. And then I'm gonna put the, the Splash. I'm gonna probably put the Splash in S tier. I think it's still incredibly good. And Zap 85, probably the best farming tacticaler weapon in the entire game. As you guys are going to see with the theme with this tacticaler, never got any type of changes. Still probably the best special in the game. And Zap 85 still farms incredibly well. Uh, we got the uh, Anarchy Splatter Shot. The, the Splatter Shot Novas are garbage. These are both really bad weapons. Don't play them. H3 is really bad. I think the Cherry H3 Nozzle Nose has some potential, but it's just such a bad weapon. And it's also semi-auto, which a lot of people by default only really want to play. Trying to just hold it back. Um, we got the other, got the other L3. I think that's, I'm not thinking this is the H3. The other one I was talking about was the L3. They're both really bad. Cherry L3, they're both, you don't see any of the L3, or the H3s or L3s. You, once in a while you see a Cherry L3, but they're all really bad. You want to rank up, do not play these weapons. The Squeezer got some huge nerfs. I still think it's really good. Same with the other one. I think both squeezers are actually incredibly good still, even though they got some nerfs recently. Got the uh, the carbon roller, really bad. Don't play this thing. The custom carbon roller is decent, just mainly because it has burst bomb and has decent special with Trizuka. But I mean, I'll put it at A tier. It also doesn't paint very well, so if you have no paint, you just don't do anything. So that's why I'm not going to put it that much higher. Got the uh. Splat Roller. I think this thing's actually seen a little bit of a resurgence recently, just mainly because it's one of the better, like, bubble weapons and also can kind of play within the bubble and with a few other things that are kind of being played right now. I'll put it at B tier to be generous, but otherwise I don't think it's that good. Kraken Splat Roller. Not that good. Got the, uh, the Dynamo. I think the Dynamos are all really bad. The Gold Dynamo ain't too bad. Like, I'll probably put that... I don't know. I'll probably put that maybe... B tier because it's a, I think it's a little bit better than the other one, but Dynamos are both really bad. We got the the Kraken or the, the Flings. I think the Flings are actually decent. I'll put it in B tier. It's just kind of outshadowed with a few of the other tenant or like the Tenant Missile weapons in the game right now. And Tenant Missile's kind of fallen off a little bit, just mainly because they got nerfed and they don't really put on like any other good weapons recently, which kind of sucks. I was hoping for this season we would actually get some more Tenant Missile weapons, but we never really got any, so kind of sucks for the. 10 of missile weapons. Uh, we also got the brand new Flingza Roller, which this thing actually has suction bomb and splatter color screen, which is actually worse than its original variant, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to put it actually a tier lower than the other one, because I think if you want to play the Flingza, you're better off just playing with, with missiles. You got the uh, big swig roller. D tier. I'm not going to put an F tier, because I don't think it's as bad as some of the F tier weapons, but it's not really that good. Sweet Roller Express, a little bit better, but you're still not seeing this thing really played at all. I think it's only niche is maybe in spot zones, but apart from that, it's not good. The Classic Swiffer, I'm going to put the Swiffer at D tier. Some of these weapons, too, I'm kind of just putting a D tier at default, just because I don't think they're as bad as like some of the throw tier weapons. I don't think they're like throw tier type worthy. So a lot of these weapons that aren't like throw tier worthy, I'm kind of just going to throw into D tier, because 
They're not good at all, but I don't think they're as bad as some of these ones. Got the brand new custom Squiffer. I think if you want to play the Squiffer, you play this one. This is probably the best kit this thing has. It has a Auto Bomb and Zipcaster, which is an incredibly good kit for this thing. You could not have asked for a better kit for this thing. It's probably one of the better like Zipcaster weapons in the game right now as well. What else we have? We have the chargers. I think I'm gonna put all the chargers. I'm putting all the chargers in A plus tier for this list. I think the there's a lot of different options for backlines right now, so I think I don't think they're like all S tier worthy, but I'm gonna put them all at like A plus tier because I think all the chargers are really really good. Same with the E leaders. We got a, also got a brand new E leader, the custom E leader, which has beacon and kraken which is incredibly good i don't think it's a s tier worthy but i think it's a plus tier really which is really really good so just throw those all up there the bamboos are this thing needs to be buffed average at best i, I mean i'm a, i don't think it's even worth average i think it's just really it's really weak it needs some type of buff and it just never gets it i'm gonna put it b tier you can maybe argue a tier but i think b tier is a solid place for this we have the GooTuber, throw tier. Both of the GooTubers are, are fucking troll picks. Do not pick these things at all. Sniper Rider 5H going to S tier. This is probably your premier backline slash support anchor weapon. You have the other, the second variant of the the Sniper Rider, which has a, a not as good of a kit, but it's still not bad at all. I think we put it A tier. There's some Grizzco weapons on this list too, which I will not be talking about because those are in Salmon Run, not in, in the actual. PvP or that type of thing. Slosher thing is really good. I'm going to put Slosher at A tier. Neo, not as good, but I'm going to put it like C tier. I don't think it's as good. Tri Slosher, I think, is still really, really solid. It's one of the very few like inkjet weapons in the game. Same with Slosher and Nonovo. I think, I think, I forgot which one actually has the. I know one has Tactic Cooler and one of them has Inkjet. They're both still really, really good. Sloshing Machine, I, I think, is really good. I'm putting Sloshing Machine at A+. You get, if you guys are not playing Sloshing Machine, I think you guys are really sleeping on Sloshing Machine. I think it's really, really good. The, the only problem is Neo is really, really bad. You gotta play the, the vanilla one. Neo is just an awful kid. It's not nearly as good as the, the other one that we first had. Blobber, I think if you wanna play the Blobber, you play the vanilla Blobber, because the other ones, it has Kraken, but it's really bad. It's not that good. Explosure's kind of fallen off a little bit. I think it's still A-tier worthy. Not too bad. The Custom Explosure, if you guys want an absolute disappointment, this thing actually got us uh, Splash Wall and Triple Splashdown, which is probably one of the worst kits I think you have, you could ever ask for for the Explosure, which is really, really bad. D-tier Alpha. I don't know why you would ever play the Custom Explosure over the regular one. This thing legit has nothing going for it. It's, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Kit makes zero sense. Absolute no sense at all. Got the, uh... I always forget the weapon. The, the Dread we, dread Ringer. And I think this one is actually okay. I think the vanilla one I'll probably put like a B tier. We also got the other variant of the, the Dread Ringer, which actually has Squid Beacon and Wave Breaker, which ain't too bad. Either. I'll probably throw both of them at like B tier. I think the problem is they just don't get played enough. Like, nobody plays the Dread Ringer. I think that's the main problem. I think it would be a lot better if people learned how to play it, but there's just no incentive to really learn it when you're better off just playing, like, the sloshing machine or, like, a normal slosher, or, like, even a tri-slosher over this. Well, so, yeah, we have mini. Both the minis, I think, are, like, each. I think maybe the Zinc's a little bit better. I think this one's probably a throw pick. I don't think it's that good at all. It's, it's really bad. Both of the Hydras, I'm probably going to throw an A tier. They're... They're both really average right now. I forgot where the other one went. Where'd the other one go? Oh, right there it is. Hydra. I think Hydra's a lot more team dependent. So you gotta. It, it depends on what team you have and what map you're on. I think it's. I, I want to put an A tier, but I think B tier is a solid place for it. Ball point still incredibly good. Ball point's going to A plus tier. Still incredibly good. Ball point, the other non of all. I mean, this thing also got nerfed for, like, no reason. It got, like, some really stupid nerf this patch for, like, legit zero reason. I don't know. It's still good, but I, I think this kit's not as good. I'm probably put it, like, C tier. Nautilus. I, don't, I think Nautilus is okay. I'll probably put Nautilus at A tier. It all, we also got another kit for the Nautilus for this, which is the 79. 
just suction bomb and triple splash down, which one ain't, ain't too bad. I don't know, it just really depends which one you really want to use. I'll probably put them both A tier because they can kind of... It just comes down to preference which one you really want to use. We have the the other, the newer... Spiling, I think it's the... I forgot what the actual name of it actually is because I, I just don't see this thing at all. This thing went from being like the most played splatling in the game to you just never seeing at all, it at all. And I don't know if it's actually because it's bad or if it's just because it's nobody ever plays it. I'm not sure. I don't know, I, I'm gonna put an A tier. I think it's still really good. Just nobody plays this thing. It, it's really bad. Or not? I don't think it's really bad. I just think nobody plays it, and that's kind of a bad thing. Got the dapples. I, I think the dapples are really bad right now. There's no reason to play these things. I'll put them at C tier because they can be okay. If you're really good at them, you can make them work, but they're not good at all. Splat dualies, I'm going to put it a solid A tier. Just your average dualies. Same with your uh, custom splat dualies. Got the glugas. I don't know why you'd play this. I mean, this kid ain't too bad. I'll probably put it like C tier. But we also got the the, the gluga dualies deco, which actually has... Uh, it has point sensor and trizuka, which is actually a really solid kit. I'm gonna put it in A tier. I think this one, this kit's actually better than the uh, the other kit we previously have, the vanilla kit. I know it just comes out like booyah bombs great, but at least for me personally, I just don't care for splash wall. It just doesn't really do anything, especially with how ink hungry the the glucos really are. It just doesn't really make sense. You got to run so much sub saver to really take advantage of the, the splash wall. And plus, I think point sensor on the Glugas, being that it's such a really slow-firing weapon, being able to track people makes it a lot more consistent, so, I don't know. I think the Glugas, though, they, they just really need a buff. They need some type of buff that's just really holding them back. Got both the, the dually squelchers. I just don't see anything being played at all. I don't I don't know if they're bad, or there's another weapon where I just don't see them played nearly at all. I don't, I'll throw them both in, like, B tier. I just don't think they're good at all. I, I really don't. And, like, nobody plays them. I, I can't really even get, a, like, a good packet representation on this list because I just never seen them played. Got the Dark and Light Tetra Dualies. I'm gonna throw these both at A tier. I think they're they're average. They used to be really, really good, and then we had, a, like, Tacticooler. It is, it's the main problem with them right now because it, you usually want to play them really aggressive. And being that everybody's running Tacticooler most of your games, you're gonna be running into that a lot. Even though you're aggressive, everybody just respawns right away anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Kind of one thing that kind of killed these things. We got the brand new dualies. We got a brand new set of dualies. I forgot the name of these. They're actually the. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of why I had this list up because they, the two new weapons have really weird names. The Dowser Dualies FF. Really random name, but I think these things are actually really good. I think the Dowser Dualies are really good. I'm going to throw these in A plus here. I, I think the Dowser Dualies are actually really, really good. If you guys have not played these, they're really good. I actually think if you want to play these, if you're like playing the Gluga Dualies, I think they're kind of just a better version of the Gluga Dualies. I really do. They have a faster fire rate. They have about the same amount of range as the Gluga Dualies. They just have a little bit less, a little bit more delay on your dodge rolls. This is kind of the main thing. You can't. You can only dodge roll once. It has a lot more delay, but it has a lot more killing power. So I don't know. I think it's a really solid kit. I think it's really, really good. It has Killer Whale and it has Ink Mine. Ink Mine ain't too bad. Killer Whales. Like, you're probably most consistent, like, average special in the game currently, so. If you guys haven't played them, try them out. They're really solid. Probably one of the better dualies in the game right now, if you're if I'm being real with you guys. Splat Brella. This, the Brellas are all really bad. Like, this one ain't too bad because it has Inkjet. I, I just don't see it played. I don't see the, the Brellas played at all. I, the Undercover, I think this is the Under... I forgot which one is that. Those are the Recycled Brella. The Recycled Brella, if you guys know, actually got added to the game for this as well. It has Angle Shooter and Big Bubbler. The one thing that makes this Brella unique from all the other ones is, that is its shield regenerates incredibly fast, and you're able to throw it out and moves really fast. Like, you're constantly have an Umbrella Shield that you're able to throw out and block yourself with. I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as, like, some of the trash tier weapons. I'll put it in B tier to be generous. I don't think it's that good, though. I, I'm seeing it played a lot right now, but I think it's just because it's a, a newer weapon. Once people realize it's not really that good, I think it's going to drop down even lower. Ten Brellas. I'm going to put them at, at D tier because I don't think they're throw picks, but man, are they really bad. Undercovers, these are all throw picks. Do not play these. I think this is actually the... This is actually the... This is the recycled Brella right here, actually. Yeah, that's the, that's the recycled... I, that's, I was looking at the wrong one. This is the wrong I was kind of... I kind of knew this wasn't the right one. I was wondering why, but I've seen like, a few extra ones here. One of these might actually be the Grizzco Brella, actually. I might have actually accidentally throw that onto the list. This might actually be the Grizzco Brella, actually. That's why it looks different. 
recycle just going to B tier. Just take my explanation for what I just said, and it's trying to B tier. I think that's actually the Grizz Cobrella. I got confused. What else we have? Luna Blaster, really bad. Lunar Blaster Neo, I think it's decent. You just don't see this thing being played. I'll put a B tier, just mainly because I play it, but I don't know. Got the uh, the Blaster. I'll put Blaster B tier. The Blasters, there's a lot of Blasters in the game right now. It's kind of underwhelming. There's a few that are okay, but like there are a lot of underwhelming ones. Custom Blaster comes down to whichever one you really want to have preference for. They're both okay kits. It's just kind of which one you really want to play and what you prefer. Range Blaster, I'll probably put it like an A tier. Just average. Not really anything crazy, but it's average. Both the class blasters, these are both throw picks. Both throw, do not play these. If you're above A tier, do not play these in any of your games, because they're throw picks. They were the rapid blaster. This thing I'm putting D tier. The, the other one though, the this version actually has inkjet, which is decent. I'll put that in like B tiers mainly because it has inkjet and there's not many inkjet weapons in the game. Uh this the uh, Rapid Blaster Pro D tier, not it's not that good. I don't know why there, you would ever play this one over the the custom Rapid Blaster Pro, which is actually okay. It has a decent kit, nothing crazy. But I think it's still really ink hungry and it kind of gets dove a lot easily. S Blast 92. This thing is a throw pick. Why would you ever pick this when the S Blast I think 91, S Blast 91 is in the game, which I'm gonna probably put in like A tier. Not not too bad, but. I don't know it's still kind of underwhelming. Like it's it was everybody thought this thing was gonna be crazy good when it got put into the game. It just ended up being like mid at best. What else do we have? This list is really so there's a lot of weapons in this game. Not as many as like Splatoon two, I don't think, but like there's still a lot of weapons here. It's mainly because this list is kind of small. The ink brush. I think the ink brush have a, have a, just mainly have a niche. I'm not gonna put them in F tier just mainly because they can they always have a niche in clams. But I, I don't think they're good at all. I think you're better off just playing anything else. They're in, in your lower tiers of, of ranked, maybe like from your like C tier up to your like A plus tier, you can get away with running a ink brush a lot more because people don't know how to play against it. But in, in like your S tier and above, you play ink brush and you get you get destroyed the majority of your games. Unless the, the team you're going against is just incredibly bad for some reason. Octo brush, uh, kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. And then we got the the pain brush. I think the pain brushes. If you want a brush, is probably the better ones. I'm gonna put the both the pain brush. It kind of just comes down to which one you really want. Both the pain brushes. I'm probably putting like B tier, and that's kind of being generous, even as well. Got the tri string. I think the tri string is A tier. I'm gonna put the tri string up into A tier. Custom tri string. I'm probably putting like B tier. I, I just don't think it's that good. If you want to play the tri string, play the other one. The one with killer whale is a lot better than the super chumps. Reflux 450, this thing got nerfed again, just mainly because it's a beast in Turf War. If you're not playing Turf War, though, I'd probably put like a B tier, to be, and that's being generous. This other one's really bad. It's a throw pick. Got the Splatana Stampers. I mean, I, I really want to put one of these in like F tier, but like with how good the main weapon itself really is, like it's probably one of the best main weapons in the entire game still. Like I, I'm going to probably put, well, I'm going to put this one at like a B tier and the other one. This one here actually has a way better kit, actually, I think. I don't know what this one is. It, it, it's, it's one of the only, like, newer weapons that actually has crab tank. So I'm going to put this one. This one actually probably, like, an A-plus tier, actually. I think this one's actually really, really good. Going up to A-plus tier. What else we have? We're, we're getting to the end, y'all. We're getting towards the end. I'm not going to rank all the specials and subs, either. That's it's on here in case somebody wants to do that. At least with this current list. Uh, where'd I leave off? Your salmon run weapons. I'll get the Splatana Wiper. I don't know. I'll put this one at C tier. I think this the other one that actually has missiles is a lot better. I'll put that at B tier. But you're not seeing much Splatana Wiper being played right now at all. It's decent mobility, but like the problem with it, it's, it's kill time. It just takes forever. You just get out dueled by so many other closer wear range weapons or like stuff that outranges you. That's the main thing that's going to always be holding it back. I don't know. What a. I think actually that's the last weapon, y'all. I think the Splatana is actually the last one. I was gonna say I thought I, I think that was actually it. Let's look real quick. Yeah, that's that's all. That's all of them, y'all. That is every single weapon. I mean, I guess you can, if you want to really put the hero shot replica, you can probably put that on there. But it's, it's legit the same thing as the splatter shot, so it doesn't really pay putting it on the list. I guess you can put the the, the salmon run weapons. I'm not gonna talk about like I said, and same with the 
the alternate like DLC variants to all the weapons. I'm not going to talk about either because they're just recolors. They're not. They're just recolors of weapons that we already have. So they have the exact same kit as like the charger or whatever. So that is the entire list, y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Overall, I think the balance with the game right now, like I, I say this every single tier list, but like I think the balance with with it's just really really bad. It's just not that good. I think the main problem that, that they're having is they just don't buff anything. Like, the they nerf random stuff, and, like, the stuff that they buff just doesn't do anything. They, they're too afraid to over-buff stuff, and, like, that just never changes anything with the game. Like, you, you look at these tiers, like, look at... I mean, A-plus tier has a decent amount of stuff in it. Like, the main the main stuff in the A tier, though, is it's all the chargers. Like, uh, like not even counting the chargers, like, we have, what, maybe seven weapons in A-plus tier? And, like, S tier, like, which ain't bad. But, like, look at how many weapons are, like, in the lower tiers. Like, from B tier and below. Like, look at how many weapons are in, are in these tiers. Same with, like, unplayable, like, throw pick tier. Like, it, it's crazy how many, like, underwhelming weapons this game has. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could argue B tiers, like, weapons you can still get away with, away with playing if you're really good at them. But even then, like, looking at C tier and below, like, these weapons are all pretty damn bad. Like, that's, that's a legit, like, three dozen weapons right there that just need major changes or major buffs. So, I don't I don't know what to tell you guys. I know there's going to be somebody in the comments down below, like there usually is. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the weapon I play, blah, blah, blah. I play the, the sploosh in, in my ranked games, and I, I carry all my games. Well, you must just be getting really lucky, bro. You're going to get some really bad teams. Just because you're, you're playing a weapon that's in, in, like, F tier and you're winning does not make it a good weapon. You're just getting incredibly lucky or... You just happen to be playing the weapon a lot more than most people, and you just happen to be getting really lucky with who you're going against, so I don't know. You're that or you're lying, and you're not in the actual rank. Just say you are, or you're just trying to justify a, a, a bad weapon for whatever reasons, which a lot of people seem to like to do for some reason. I don't know why. I, I don't know. Keep in mind, too, this list is not for the pro players. If you're playing in tournaments, or you're a pro player that plays in, like, your really high tiers of rank, like, your your leaderboard like top 500 or like your top 100 like rating x rank type players it's not a list for that either it's mainly for like the majority of the players which the majority of the players are usually for like a plus and above rank usually like your s tier and above that's usually where the majority of your players are so all right at, at least some point most people are going to be getting to around that rank so at least me personally like i'm usually a consistent s x rank every single season usually around from like 2,000, 2,500 around there for most of my modes, so... Or sometimes even 3,000. It usually depends on the mode. It usually towers and close to 3,000 sometimes. Just depends how much time I have to grind and how motivated I really am to play the game. Which hasn't really been that much recently just because it's kind of been boring, so... But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, like, subscribe if you are new. Share the video. I stream Splatoon 3 over here once in a while. I also stream and do content for a bunch of other games. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Overwatch 2, Apex Legends, Pokemon Unite, a bunch of other stuff. So if you guys not want to miss that, subscribe. Got a bunch more stuff on the way. If you enjoyed, apart from that, I'm a Gautier. Peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching.